Hi guys, today we're gonna to take a look at how to run Android inside of a container. Now, I've been doing a series of videos on how to run old tech inside of containers and I'm taking a look at how to run things like Windows 98, Windows XP, DOS. We even did old gaming platforms like SNES and Atari and NES that you can run with RetroArch. Now, I did run one modern operating system. I put Mac OS in a container and that was a little bit kludgy, but it did work and I, try to do other more modern operating systems too. Now the two that are kind of remaining are Chrome OS and Android. Now my work in Chrome OS, I'm not real pleased with that one. It doesn't really work well at all. And so I'm probably gonna put that on the back burner until it has a little bit better support for uh, virtualization. Android on the other hand has had broad support for virtualization for quite some time. So there's a lot of different ways you can run Android in a virtualized or emulated context. And of course, virtualization is where you build a virtual machine. And in that way, you can run a installed version of the operating system on virtual hardware. And then there's emulation, which is kind of like virtualization, but instead of running a full operating system, it's more of a pared down operating system, but it still has a number of the same kind of features a, a full operating system would have. And this is what we typically use for software development. So in my work of trying to get Android working in a container, I went down the path of virtual machines first, and I really couldn't get that to work well in an x86 context in Docker because the support for uh, more modern versions of Android just isn't there yet for virtual machines. And so there's been some activity with the, an operating system called Bliss OS, which was a fork of Android 86 which is an older, more uh, sunsetted project. I don't know that that has been deprecated yet, but it's not been updated in a while. But Bliss OS uh, forked that, and it's doing a lot of work around Android 10 and Android 11, but it doesn't have a modern support for like Android 12 or 13, which are the more commonly used versions of Android, at least in the last few years. So with that in mind, I wanted to shift to over to emulation, and that was widely supported a long time ago, and it still has a very vibrant community, even with more modern versions of Android, like Android 12. So with the emulators that you get with the SDK for Android, you can get uh, a virtual device up and running and you can do that in a docker container and you can control it through a web browser just like i've been doing with all of my other demos so i'm going to show you how to do that and there's really nothing that i built to do this i'm just going to show you the repository where this project lives and then i'm just going to show you how to start it up and show you how that you can have a functional android device running inside of a docker container simply by using these emulators that are available on docker hub so i'm going to be running this in the windows subsystem for linux or wsl but this would work on a virtual machine or a bare metal machine as well it's pretty straightforward so basically what you need to do first is have kimu up and running because this uses uh, kimu and kvm which are basically some virtualization tools that are in the Linux context. So if you're running Ubuntu, these are really easy to install. So just uh, run app get install uh, kimu dash KVM and do this as root. And this will install uh, this particular set of packages. Now um, you can install these and once they're once it's done, it'll be uh, enabled on your system and you'll be able to use these packages. So the next thing that you'll wanna do is get Docker installed. Now, if you have Docker installed, you can skip this step, of course, but it's pretty easy to do if you've never installed Docker. It's just a script. So you can get the script by downloading it using curl. So you run curl and point it to uh, get.docker.com and then you can output it to get-docker.sh and that's just a shell script. And then to run that, you can just use the sh command to run the shell script and that will download and install Docker. I've already installed Docker on my box. So if I do Docker-V, you can see that I have a fairly recent build of this. So you can check that if you just wanna see if you have Docker already installed. And once you have Docker installed, you're ready to go. The next thing we need to do is just run the emulator using the docker run command. So to show you the actual image that we're gonna run, it's this one right here, it's docker android. And it's a really active repository on GitHub. So you can see that it's getting 
commits and pull requests all the time. It's got uh, several thousand stars and a lot of different uh, forks and this is a very healthy repository. So there's a lot of activity in this particular domain. So Docker Android is alive and well and will likely remain uh, a very active project in the uh, future. But so you can see that you have several different versions of Android that you can use. And so the way this works is you tell it what image you want to use basically by just saying, I'm going to run this at version 13 or 12 or 11. And then you can use a command line parameter or environment variable that is to tell it which device you want to use. Now, of course, you can't run Android 13 on a Samsung Galaxy S10, but it basically uses the hardware specs for the screen resolution and other things, even though you might be running Android 13, but using the specs of this one's screen resolution and so on for the device that you're gonna be emulating. So something to uh, think about there. In any case, those are the two main parameters that you need. And the other thing that you might wanna check is you look for uh, this right here to make sure that KVM actually will work on your machine. But once you have those things, you are ready to run. So I'm just going to run the command here in my Docker context, and then I'm just going to open a browser and just poke around on the emulator inside of a Docker container. So to run this, what you need to do is run a Docker command that looks like this. So a couple of different parameters that we need to look at are, one is the version that you want to use. So this is just the repository, but you use the tag on the image uh, to tell it what version you're going to be using. So emulator 13. So this would be the most recent version of Android that is a more production version of Android. There's still some early releases for version next. The next one that you need is you'll need to put this flag on here. So you need to have device uh, slash dev slash KVM. Now, this is needed for hardware acceleration, and it really won't work unless you have this enabled. So this is going to basically expose the KVM that you installed on the machine that you're using for Docker to the Docker container. And once you have that uh, as part of the command line, there's a few other things that just to impact the behavior. WebVNC enables the browser to connect to this, and that's why you need this port right here. There's also ports that you can use if you wanna have ADB or other tools for debugging this particular environment. You can definitely use those, and those are useful for getting telemetry out of the app and also sideloading APKs into the Android device and different things like that. Now, the emulator devices, of course, the one that we looked at, inside of the repo is the Samsung Galaxy S10. And that's just, like I said, emulating its hardware characteristics in terms of screen resolution and other similar things like that. But it's really not gonna impact the overall performance of the emulator. So once you have all of these things uh, set, you can then run this. Now, there's other command line things that you can add to this that I didn't cover, but once you start this up, it's just gonna start a container and you can get a list of started containers by running Docker PS and you can see that it's running right there. So let's go open up a browser and point it to this particular container just to see this thing up and running. Once you have the emulator started uh, with the Docker command, then you can just point your browser to the IP address of your Linux context that you are running that in, and then use port 6080, which is the port that will connect you to no VNC. You've seen me use no VNC, so that's uh, no surprise there. And you'll see that you have a virtual device up and running on this, and it's a fairly, it's got feature parity to a pretty modern version of Android. So you can see that it has a lot of the Google apps already installed. And of course, you can sideload these if you want to use like uh, ADB, you can sideload APKs and so on to this guy. So um, I'm just going to launch Chrome here and you can see that it has fairly decent performance uh, in terms of acceleration and what have you. And so this is just a website that is running on this emulated device and uh, it's enables me to have a fairly fluid, uh, fairly decent experience for doing this kind of emulation. Now, this particular emulation is good for a lot of different things. Now, of course, it's not gonna be very practical for using Android on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, that's really not what this is for, but what this particular uh, setup has been used for is for doing things like application testing. So application testing is a big deal if you wanna be able to make apps and then test them using automation. Automation is 
useful in an environment like this. So I can use something like Appium, which is a suite that allows me to test mobile applications and mobile websites on an emulated device or a physical device. But an emulated device is a lot cheaper because I don't have to really pay for a physical device and I can just use the emulated devices for the uh, app testing. And then if I can do those tests over and over and over again on the emulated device, then I can kind of graduate it to a, an actual physical device or what have you. But these are great for development and those kinds of tasks like that. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do with uh, emulators like this and you can play with different versions of Android and different kinds of emulated devices as well so just something to consider it's a great tool and I will probably be using this for other kind of demos in the future as I work with other kinds of things that are just kind of curiosities for me so if you like this content please like the video and of course subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and drop a comment in the comment section down below I, I don't know that I'm gonna be doing a whole lot more in terms of emulating old tech inside of docker containers or anything like that if something crosses my mind and I might give it a shot, but I'm definitely going to be doing more work in the Docker context. There's, of course, some stuff that are going to be doing it around uh, things like Kubernetes and edge computing and other interests like that, especially in the context of AI and other things like that that are just interesting to me. So pay attention to those and I hope to see you on future videos. If you like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button. You can also like this content by clicking on the thumbs up or share this content with your friends and also comment in the comment section down below. You can also find me online at www.blaze.net or on Twitter at The One Mule. And as always, thanks for watching.